Namaste. My name is Babette. Thanks for being here. It's good to be back. I am so grateful for all of your wonderful messages throughout um, the last few years. And I'm just so glad that I am able to offer um, new classes again on this fantastic worldwide platform. Maybe have some water or towel nearby um, for this practice today. I hope you enjoy. Take a break whenever you need to. It's on demand, so you can pick up whenever. And um, thanks for being here and practicing with me. Let's start in a comfortable seated position. Cross-legged is perfect. We'll just take a three to five breaths just to bring our awareness onto our breath. You can allow the eyes to close. Hands can rest in the lap or on the thighs. Just allowing your mind to be really fixed on your breath as you feel it coming into the nostrils, back of the throat, into the lungs. No need to change or alter, just observing. And I just use the word just, just, but it might not be so simple as it's actually quite an intense concentration practice. So really allowing your mind to be focused on nothing but your breath, you may start to find that that brings you not just in the present moment. Your body is on the mat, but this also tends to bring your mind very much on the mat. You may even feel that your breath automatically lengthens and expands. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Let's feel free to fire up your ujjayi breath, that beautiful ocean-like sound in the back of your throat. Open up your eyes if they're closed. And then plant the palms, sorry, soles of your feet. It's the palms of your feet pretty much, right? On the ground, knees facing up, and take your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Find a superhero on the heart, long, tall spine, so try not to collapse in your lower back. On the inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold flat back between the legs, hands come down, allow your head to drop. Fantastic place to start to breathe into your lower back. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. On the inhale, reach your arms back up overhead. Exhale, twist to your right, tenting your fingers as the hands drop. Left hand between the knees, right hand behind you. And as you press all ten fingers down into the ground, allow for perhaps a deeper twist. So, of course, you're using your hands for support, but Try to really make this twist come from your core. Then let's look at your right leg. Lift the foot, go for the pinky toe edge of the foot with the left hand. You can keep the right knee bent, you can lengthen through, you can pause. If you want to, either with bent knee or lengthening through, reach your right arm behind you for a little bit of a core challenge here. Stay with your breath. Let's then look forward, carefully roll back so you come onto your right forearm. Let the right ankle come to the left thigh, figure four, left forearm drops. Both knees go to your right, little internal hip rotation for you here. Then let the right ankle unhook from the left, your legs stay as they are, figure four, figure four. Just turn your whole torso to the back of the mat. Come onto your forearms, lengthen the heart forward and through. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Inhale, walk your hands back, face the knees back up to the ceiling, and you're where were you were a moment ago. Little hip mobility here. Inhale, let both knees drop to your right without using your hands, and then let both knees go all the way over to the left. Then face the knees back up. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, flat back, dive down. Let the head drop. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Inhale, arms reach back up, full breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Tend the fingers, find that long, tall spine as you press down through those ten fingertips. Take a beat. Then look at your left leg, lift it. Go for the pinky toe edge of the foot with the right hand, kick through, pulse through. Keep the knee bent or keep the leg long and perhaps reach your left arm back. Try not again to collapse in the low back. Keep your lower core engaged. 
Then look at your front leg, slightly roll back so you can come onto the left forearm. Figure four, left ankle, right thigh, both forearms come down. Then both knees drop to your left this time. Lengthen carefully, let that left ankle come down. And then turn your whole back body to the back of the mat, keeping the legs in your figure four. Look forward, a little bit of cow spine, nice long inhale. Exhale, sigh out. Inhale, walk your hands back. Face your knees up towards the ceiling. We'll do the hip mobility one more time. Both knees drop to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, both knees drop to the right. Let's come up through center. Take the feet parallel. Hands go behind the hips. Fingers towards your seat. Let's come up into a, a reverse tabletop here. Press into your feet. Exhale, take it back down to the ground. Then let's carefully flip your right leg behind you, the heels on the outside of your glute. Hands go behind, step into the left foot, press into the top of the right foot and shin, little hip flexor, quad lengthening. And then on the inhale, extend your right leg all the way up. Exhale, figure four into the left thigh, figure four, reverse tabletop. Let your seat come down and then unhook that right ankle. You can use your left hand, take it to the top of the left ankle to flip the left shin back. Again, make sure the heel is on the outside of your glute. As you then step into your right foot, press into the left shin, top of the left foot. Huge inhale to sweep the left leg all the way up. Figure four, left ankle, right thigh. Take one more beat here. The hips come back down. Take the left foot back parallel to the right. We'll do one more regular reverse tabletop. Come high onto your tippy toes and walk your feet back. Carefully until you can shift your weight forward onto the knees. Try not to untuck your toes, stay on the heels. For a bit of a yin pose here, a toe stretch. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. It's intense, but it's very good for the soles of your feet. The plantar fascia gets a very nice stretch. Then let's take the hands by the knees. Turn your sit bones up, heels drop, find a forward fold in the middle of your mat. Maybe wiggle the toes a bit. And then inhale, take a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands can always come to shins or thighs. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. That is your Uttanasana. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, flat back, tabletop. Exhale, release over the legs. One more time. Inhale, heart, chest, and chin lift up and forward. Exhale, release over your legs. Inhale, press into your feet. Come all the way up to stand. Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. Keep your left arm up, exhale, right hand comes down, palm to thigh, inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, slide your right hand down towards the right knee, left bicep stays by the ear. Inhale, come back up, palm to palm. Exhale, left hand comes down, palm to thigh, inhale, get up a bit, reach up a bit for more length. Then exhale, slide the left hand towards the left knee so you can scoop that right bicep by the ear. Inhale, come back up, palm to palm. Exhale, forward fold, Uttarasana over your legs. Inhale, find a halfway lift, and then exhale again, forward fold. Now as you find a halfway lift on the inhale, walk your hands forward until the arms are long. You're more than welcome to take blocks underneath your hands for support. On the inhale, I'm gonna come high into my tippy toes, shift onto my hands, look between your thumbs. Exhale, your heels come down, tend the fingers. Draw all 10 toes off the ground towards you and lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, plant the feet down, plant the palms down high into the tippy toes. Hips lift, push. Exhale, heels drop, tend the fingers, draw the toes towards you, maybe even lift the soles of your feet. One more pulse, exhale, shift it forward. Hips high, high on the tippy toes. Exhale, draw it back, tend the fingers and then draw all the weight into the heels of the feet. Exhale, feet down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's walk you forward to the front of the mat if you are halfway through. 
and let's get into our warm-up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a giant step back with your left foot. You're in a low lunge. Come onto tended fingers, fist, or grab your blocks. As you inhale, look forward, expand across the chest. Exhale, lengthen through your right leg. It does not need to straighten and look at your back foot. Two more pulses. Inhale, shift your weight forward, drive to the left heel. Exhale, draw it back, head drops. One more time, inhale, shift it forward. And then exhale, draw it back. Inhale, let's re-bend your right knee. Plant your palms down on the exhale. Inhale, engage your core, take a one-legged plank, right leg shoots back, long in the spine. Exhale, draw the right knee to your nose. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, stay with me. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to your nose. And then inhale, take a right dog split, lengthen through the leg first, really get long, try to touch the wall behind you. And then bend your right knee, open up your hip, give your ankle a whirl in the sky, try to square out your shoulders, notice if you're holding your breath, and then re-lengthen back through your right leg, dog split, exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Go for a bit of a pedal out in the feet, a little wag in your tail, perhaps a bit of a head bobble. And then let's move through your spine a little bit. Let's go nice and slow. It's quite challenging to articulate through each vertebra. Lift your heels and hips, look back at your knees. Create a cat spine with the ribs in and then slowly roll your spine forward one vertebra at a time into your plank pose. Scrap of the head is the last thing to extend. Then bend the knees until they almost touch the ground. Draw the sit bones back to down dog. I call these my elevated cat cows. We'll do them twice more. Inhale, roll it forward. Low back, mid back, upper back, crown of the head. Exhale, sit bone lead into your downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, come forward. And then exhale, draw back to your downward facing dog. On the inhale, bring your big toes to touch, back of the mat, shift your shoulders over the wrist, lift between your thumbs, push, exhale, heels come back down. Inhale, take a baby step forward, half a footprint, big toes to touch, shift high into those tippy toes, now try not to sit in your shoulders, push, exhale, heels come back down. We'll do that one more time, you can also stay where you are, a baby step forward, Coming high into those tippy toes, look between the thumbs. Exhale, heels come back down. Then walk it forward to the front of the mat. Find your Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Second side, inhale, arms sweep up, full breath in. Exhale, take it over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge, fan tended fingers, fist blocks. Inhale, look forward, drive to the right heel. Exhale, hips draw back, head drops, check out your back foot. Inhale, bring it forward, re-bend the left knee, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lengthen through the left leg. One more pause, inhale, shift it forward, just moving through your muscles here. And then exhale, draw the hips back. Inhale, re-bend your left knee, bend your palms down, fire in your belly. Take a one-legged plank as you shoot your left leg back. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left dog splits, and it all the way back. Get long. Exhale, bend your left knee, find that fantastic turnout. Circle through your ankle. Just notice if you're holding your breath. And try not to make it a flapping of the foot. Make it a mindful movement. And then re-lengthen through the left leg. Exhale, feet together. Find your downward facing dog. Switching things up. Inhale, lift your heels, hips. Inhale, roll a forward plank. Exhale, your knees come down. Keep the toes tucked. You're in a tabletop. Arc your back, you're in a cow spine. Just shift your shoulders forward 
and bend your elbows back so the chest and chin drops between the thumbs on top the toes inhale slide it through low cobra relax your glutes exhale pull it back to all fours we tuck the toes down we're facing the up Building on that, as we inhale, roll it forward back into your plank. Exhale, knees down, untuck your toes. Hips stay over the knees. Walk the hands forward into your puppy pose. Come onto your forearms, your forehead. Allow your shins to be parallel if you can. Press the tops of your feet down. And then with each exhale that you take, try to relax your shoulders a bit more. So your chest sternum can drip a little closer down to the ground. On your inhale, lift your head, press into the forearms, slide forward on your belly, brief sphinx pose, maybe walk the forearms a bit forward so that you are properly set up. Simply drawing the heart forward and through is actually quite an underestimated back bend. Then let the head drop, bring your hands back by your sides, make one big fish tail with your legs, turn your kneecaps down, allowing for an internal hip rotation. Then reach so hard through your fingers and your toes that the hands and feet float off the ground. Locust pose. Try not to look forward too much so you're cranking in the neck. You can continue to look down. You can always interlace your hands behind you. Please use your back muscles a little bit more than your glutes. On the exhale, hands come down. Draw it back to a brief child's pose. Knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Just breathing into the lower back. You can gently rock out your forehead side to side, to catch your breath. On your inhale, let's come forward back to hands and knees, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. If you're ever unsure about the length of your down dog, you can simply take a plank pose. With your shoulders over the wrist, perfect measurement for your uh, body, as it's the length of your body, perfect measurement for your down dog. And it's also going to set you up for Chaturanga. So from your downward facing dog, let's come forward into your plank. Try not to let your chest or your hips dip. I see this quite often and that makes this hard. And this is already so hard. So press the back of the heart to the ceiling. Knit the ribs in, drive through the heels. Bring your shoulders forward, elbows go back. Come halfway down, upward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay with your breath. All right. Let's get a little bit into your hip flexor strength. Big toes touch back over the mat. Come high into your tippy toe. Shoulders are over the wrist. You may have to swing your legs out to the side a bit to make this happen. You'll know what I mean in a moment. But try to keep your legs long and straight. I'm going to try to tap my right two toes to my right wrist. Shift your shoulders forward. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, left toes, left wrist, hips come high, give it a touch, inhale, step it back. Exhale, take a baby step forward, high into those tippy toes, right toes, right wrist, inhale, step it back. Exhale, left toe, left wrist, inhale, step it back. One more time, a baby step forward, hips lift, heels lift, right toes, right wrist, step it back. Left toe, left wrist. Step it back and then walk it forward to the front of the mat. Four fold, look that accent. Allow your head to drop, maybe make fists in the hands and circle through the wrists just to give them a bit of a break. Maybe a little head bobble, no tension, no bracing. The hands come down, take another halfway lift to relax and reset. Exhale, four fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's get into our first standing wave. No need to give it like 100%. We just want to move through the body a little bit to prepare us for some stuff we're going to explore later on. All right. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, draw the left knee into your chest. Inhale, hands to your heart, warrior three. Left leg goes back. Stay with your breath, steady gaze. Now, I don't care if you bend your right knee, just get super duper long. Press that left heel back, crown of the head forward. Exhale, bend both knees. Take the left knee to the outside of the right, squatting down, squeeze the thighs. 
Reach your right hand back for the big toe edge of your left foot. The left hand comes down. Open this up in your sugar cane or your bound revolved half moon pose. You can pulse to the leg. You can lengthen to the bottom leg and really pull that left hip and hip flexor open. Just stay with your breath, make a choice what feels good. Then carefully up that back foot, go. Right hand comes down, drop the head, standing split. Go for blocks underneath your hands if you want. Check out your left foot in the sky, face the toes and kneecap down. Exhale, a giant step back into a low lunge. Take your left hand a bit to the left. Inhale, right arm up for your spinal twist. Now notice if your right hip is really lifted. So you can let the right hip drop and the left hip lift a bit. Drive through that left heel. Awesome. Now get out of your left wrist if you're really sitting in it. Use your core as you turn all ten toes to the right for a boomerang twist. Try not to sit in the left ankle. You want to press down through the outer blade of the foot. We're going to pulse. Inhale, lift your hips, sweep your right arm over your head like a rainbow. Exhale, dip the hips and reach back. Go with your breath. Inhale, up overhead, full breath in. The exhale, we dip, we reach back. One more time, inhale, up overhead. And then exhale, let's dip, reach back. Some momentum. Inhale, up overhead, turn over your right leg, low lunge. Then look over your left shoulder, skandasana over your left leg. Left heel drops in, toes out, hands to the heart as you lengthen through the right leg. You can stay up, right? It is so early. You can go as low as you want. Do try to shine your heart forward and don't sit in that left hip too much. A little pelvic floor strength. Inhale, turn over your left leg. Frame the foot, right knee comes down on top of the toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up for Anjani Asana. You can reach for the fingertips or interlace the last three fingers overhead. And my inventory here always is, can I lift up out of my lower back? Everything waistline down is rooting down. Maybe straight into the arms, pull the elbows behind the ears. Exhale, the hands come down, frame the foot. Tuck the back toes, inhale, sweep the left leg all the way back. Exhale, take the left knee to the right elbow for a fallen triangle. Your length is through the left leg. Reach your right arm up. Now see so you can take the whole sole of your left foot, sorry, right foot down to the ground. Press down into feet. Use your obliques. Exhale, the right hand comes down. Inhale, left dog splits. Send it all the way back. Exhale, bend the left knee. Stay here. Or go for your rock star to the right. Let that left foot drop behind you like a kickstand. Big, beautiful breath in. Inhale, flip it back around into a left dog split. On the exhale, draw the left knee to your nose and then place your shin behind the wrist. As your right knee comes down, walk it back. Come onto ten fingers. And let's take three pulses here in your pigeon. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the elbows to the side, maybe tap the forehead down. Inhale, come back up, expand your heart open to the wall in front of you. Exhale, let the head dip, bend the elbows to the side. One more time, and inhale, coming up, draw the shoulders back, open up across the chest. And then exhale, let it drop. Inhale, come up. Plant the palms down. Tuck your right toes, and then take a left dog split. Exhale, draw the left knee to your nose again. Figure four, left ankle to the right thigh this time. Figure four, down dog. Now you can unhook here and go through your vinyasa, or come forward into a figure four plank. Maybe unhook here, or attempt a figure four chaturanga. Then unhook. Upward facing dog, full breath in, exhale, downward facing dog, steady your breath, maybe a nice long inhale through the nose, side out. Let's bring your big toes to touch at the new back of your mat, float your right leg up to the sky, take your time, activate glutes, hamstrings, exhale, step it through, look at your hands. 
from the ground up, warrior three, hands come to your heart, hello plant, get very, very long, kick through the left heel, crown of the head comes forward, go for that Shiva pose again, bending both knees, left knee taps the outer right knee, squat down a bit, then let the hands come down, slowly lower yourself down to your left chin to the outside of the right foot. Ground down through both sit bones, take your right hand behind you, inhale, left arm reaches up. And then exhale, go down for your twist, Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Please turn the whole chest to the right, so you're twisting from your thoracic. And then by all means, look over your back shoulder, so you're not just jamming the neck because you know the neck is really, really good at twisting. On the inhale, we're gonna counter open to the left. We're gonna keep going to the left, press into the hands, step into your feet, take a full 360 in the left ankle, left heel in, toes out, open up in Malasana at the back of the mat, hands to the heart. Now you wanna try to find that pelvic floor lift, it's called a Mula Bandha, where you slightly lift off, Glutes, inner outer thighs engaged, so you're not really having to use the elbows here. Let's put it to the test. Reach your arms forward, palms facing up. Take right arm over left, a hug, a half, or full eagle wrap. Try to shift the weight back into the pinky toe edges of your feet. Maybe lift the elbows up a bit. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Then let the hands come down, unravel the arms, sit bones up, heel toe your feet underneath you as you find a halfway lift. Exhale, four fold. Inhale, another halfway lift, and then exhale, walk forward into your plank pose. Once the shoulders are over the wrists, go through your vinyasa chaturanga to your upward facing dog, to your downward facing dog. Smooth out your breath, find a way. Then we're going to bring our big toes to touch at the back of the mat. Roll your shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, squat back, look forward. You can always turn the knees to the side. At the bottom of the exhale, step or hop to the front. Find halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, full breath in. As you reach the arms up, exhale, hands to the heart. Same sequence, different side, can be a totally different conversation. Just stay with your breath. On the inhale, reach your arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, draw the right knee into the chest, hands move to the heart in prayer. Inhale, warrior three, as you send the right leg back, and get long. Just try not to set the leg balance so much, just prioritize, again, that lengthening from crown of the head to the sole of the back foot. As you bend both knees, take the right knee to the outer left, squeeze the thighs together. As you reach your left hand to the right big toe edge of the right foot, right hand comes down, and then go for a pulse, bend both knees, perfect. Maybe go for your full sugar cane here and give it a nice push, a nice pull, stay with your breath. And then very carefully release your foot. Left hand comes down, standing split, internally rotating the right leg, please. How am I turning the right toes and kneecap down? Feel free to grab your blocks here. Then take a giant step back with your right foot in that low lunge. The right hand goes a bit to the right, the left arm reaches up. Let's get a bit specific here in this final twist. Allow the left hip to drop, right hip to lift and press through the right heel. Reach your left arm back up. And then stay on that right wrist. Turn all 10 toes to the left. Boomerang twist. Let the hips dip, reach back with the left hand. Inhale, up and over. Sweep that left arm over your ear. Exhale, let it dip, reach back. Twice more, inhale, up and over. Full breath in. Exhale, let it dip, reach back. One more time, like a rainbow, take it over your head. And exhale, let's reach back and dip the hips. Some momentum, inhale up and over your left leg, frame the foot, look over your right shoulder, go for skandhasana, right heel in, toes out, hands to the heart. You can always use your hands as kickstands underneath you. I do recommend keeping that right heel down. You're gonna lengthen through your Achilles, your, heel, your hips will drop over time. 
Inhale, turn up and over your right leg. Lower the left knee down on top of the toes. I'm going to scoot back a bit to my friend here. Inhale, reach your arms up. And down the asana. So do fantastic front body length there. In fact, the whole interior chain of your body here from pretty much your left wrist to the sole of your left, sorry, top of your left foot is getting this phenomenal lengthening. Try not to spill in your low belly. Draw the navel in and up and you're automatically going to lift out of the low back. Stay with your breath. On the exhale, your hands come down, frame the foot, tuck the back toes. Inhale, right dog split, sweep it all the way back. Exhale, the right knee goes to your left elbow for a fallen triangle. Take a second, reach your left arm up, really rise up from your feet, your legs, obliques. Try to stay out of that right wrist. Then take the left hand down, inhale, left dog split. Exhale, bend that left, sorry, right dog split, I apologize. Bend the right knee, stay here, or go over to your left for your beautiful rock star, fantastic front body length there again. On the inhale, we'll roll it back around, right dog split, got it right this time. Exhale, then place the right shin behind your wrist. Setting up for your pigeon. Walk the left knee and foot back. Come onto tended fingers, maybe grab your blocks. Lengthen the heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Keep that little pelvic floor engaged. Exhale, bend the elbows to the side, tap the forehead. Inhale, come up, draw the shoulders back. Shine your heart forward. Exhale, let it dip, head comes down. One more time, inhale, open it up, press into the front shin, top of the back foot. Exhale, let it dip. Inhale, we come back up. Exhale, plant the palms down, tuck your back toes, and then inhale, take a right dog split. Exhale, draw the right knee to the nose, figure four, right ankle over the left thigh, figure four, Downward facing dog, draw your sit bones back. Unhook here, go for your vinyasa or inhale, come forward, figure four plank. Maybe unhook here or go for figure four chaturanga. Unhook when you're halfway down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose, maybe side out. And then on the inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky, dog split. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands. Look forward from your ground up, warrior three. Hands go to the heart. Get super duper long, kick through that back heel. Try to touch the wall behind you. Crown of the head extends forward. Then bend both knees, draw the right knee to the outer left and lower it all the way down in control. Hands come down, the right shin comes down as you sit on your sit bones. Take your left hand behind you, inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, go for your twist, gently hook it. Inhale, nice and long, exhale, go a little bit further. On your inhale, let's counter open to the right and keep going. Full 360 as you spin to the front of the mat. Take Malasana, hands to the heart. Seat down, heart forward. Nice long inhale through the nose, maybe side out. Let's extend the arms forward, palms facing up. Take left arm over right, a hug, a half or full eagle wrap. Lift the elbows up, shine your heart forward, weight goes into the pinky toe edges of your feet. And then take the hands down as you unravel the arms, sit bones up, heel toe your feet underneath you, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, another halfway lift to reset. Exhale, walk it forward into your plank. Watch your shoulders over the wrist, lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through your nose. Side out. All right. I'm going to switch sides. You stay where you are as I have this beautiful plant here and I'd like to keep it beautiful. So 
Right and up, kick into it. So from your downward facing dog, bring your big toes to touch, back of the mat. Roll the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, let's bend the knees, squat back, look forward, and then feet forward, step or hop. Halfway lift as you get there, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, or back hastasana, up hands. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach back up, full breath in. Exhale, take it over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare, look forward. You can exhale, step back, lower down, or hop back directly into your chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay with your breath. Smooth it out. We're going to do one classic round of Surya A. And then I'm going to add on some completely optional options. I mean, every, at the end of the day, anything that I offer is a suggestion. But just in the course of this sequence, I'm going to throw in some, uh, some hang time possibilities. Bring your big toes to touch back out of the mat. We're going to roll it forward to prepare. Exhale, you want to squat back, draw out all the breath, look forward beyond your mat, and then a step or hop, lift the hips to the front. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, or Bahastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, come back up, full breath in. Exhale, take it over the legs, forward fold. A half lay lift on the inhale, prepare, look forward, then a step or hop. As you come up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, L hops can be a bit intimidating. There's a different variation that tends to be a little less scary, as it allows for you to really nip the ribs in and prevent the banana boat back from going over. So let's try it in your down dog. Draw the big toes to touch. Then pull the right knee to your nose. Squeeze the thigh to the belly. Really glue them together and then inhale, step it back. Now you're more than welcome to stay in your down dog. You have nothing but great things to say about it. Or walk your feet underneath your hips, high onto the tippy toes. Look between your thumbs. Then lift your left leg up. Keep it internally rotated, toes, kneecap, face down. You can pulse to the right leg, perfect. Or kick your left leg up and draw the right knee into the chest, going for some light hops, exhale to come up, inhale to lightly land. Give another try or so, and then step, hop it forward to the front, halfway lift, exhale forward, forward. Inhale, come all the way up, full breath in, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale over your legs, take it down. A halfway lift to prepare, and then a step, a hop, a float, back to your down dog. Nice long inhale through your nose, smooth it out through the nose. So staying down dog makes you very strong, mind and body. Stay here, try not to push down and down dog, but press forward. Keeping your knees relaxed so you can drive those sit bones way high up into the core end of the ceiling, lengthening through the arms and the spine. Creating space in the shoulder joints, not sitting in them. Or perhaps walk the big toes to touch and then underneath your hips. Try to keep your top leg straight. Keep the leg muscles engaged when the leg goes soft and the leg starts to flop, it's easier to topple over. Now lift your right leg up to the sky. You can pulse through the left leg. Or perhaps, as we tried on that first side, draw the left knee to the nose. Go for some hops. Exhale to come up. Keep pushing. Inhale, lightly land. Reach through those top toes. And then whenever you're done hopping, step it, hop it forward. Forward fold, look that up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. 
Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Take your hands back by your sides. Samastitihi, equal stance pose. Take a moment to feel your feelings. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. All right. Sinking it back to down dog. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take it over your legs. Forward fold. A flat back on the inhale to prepare. Look forward. Step it, hop it, float. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, take a beat, and then we will briefly rest in a child's pose or sit up on your shins. How are we doing? All right, great. So we're going to go into our final standing series here. A couple of options for some arm balances. You can completely omit lots of variations to take. And the thing is, the variations that I'm going to offer are going to help you to maybe one day, you know, this lifetime or the next, to start to explore these arm balances. I'm still working on one of them. You'll know it when we get there. <laughs> uh, as it mainly has to do with fear for me. Uh, so that's uh, something that I'm working through. So um, I'm going to show it to you up to a point where I'm still there and who knows, I might get rid of some fear today. Please sit up on your shins in Bhadrasana. Introduce your hands behind you. Arms are wonderful for balance, but we're going to not use them for a while to really connect to our core. Please come up to stand on your shins. Keep the hands behind you. Knit the ribs in. As you nice and lightly step your right foot forward into a lunge and then go for a bit of a pulse. Gently front and back, just moving through the muscles. If you're in a deep lunge, just slightly come out. Draw the fist down, tuck your back toes. All you gotta do is drive to the back heel and the knee floats. Connect to the long, beautiful, strong muscles of the legs and glutes as you shift this forward into your warrior three. Now use that hand behind you to keep yourself up. Stay with your breath. Then keeping the bind, look forward and up. Draw the left knee into your chest. Figure four, left ankle, right thigh, booty back, card four, flex the left foot. Stay here, challenging enough. Maybe start to look down, belly to the shin, and perhaps bring that entire fist over your head. You can maybe stay here or let the hands come down for a moment. I'm gonna hop back because I have a plan here. As your right knees bend, walk the hands forward, plant the palms down, look forward. I'm gonna come on the ball of my right foot and then shift your left chin onto both triceps. Hook your left foot around the right tricep, shift your weight forward. Maybe let the right foot flow, look forward. You can always extend the right leg back. This is where I hop off the tray. Then let the right foot come back down. Reach your hands behind you. If you came from your flying pigeon, interlace. Inhale, pull the heart forward and through. Tricky stuff. Let's unhook, take a giant step back, warrior one feet. I need to adjust a bit. So a little railroad track between the heels. Please do a drive to the outer blade of your left foot. Inhale, pull the chest open. Exhale, humble your warrior. Allow the head to drop. Check out your back foot, maybe bring the palms to touch for a greater shoulder opening. Let the inhale pull you back up, warrior one, with the bind behind you. Lengthen through the right leg, turn the left toes to the right. Feel free to adjust your feet for that wide stance. Pull your fists down and back, knit the ribs and exhale, find a flat back. Inhale, get even longer, and then exhale, find your wide forward fold. With the bind overhead, Prasavita Paratanasana C. And then carefully let the hands come down, relaxing your wide forward folds. If the crown of the head touches, line up fingertips and big toes. You can come up into a tripod. You can always take the shins to the triceps and stay there before you take that V upside down into your tripod. Reach through the toes. 
If you're up, we're gonna stay up. Just straddle out through your legs, kick through the heels, and then slowly come down. We'll find a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, turn over your right leg. Find that low lunge. Step your left foot a foot forward, 12 inches, anchor through the heel. Bit of a 45 degree angle in the back foot, you're in pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, bow over the leg. Take both hands to your hips. Inhale, find a flat back. Core, core, core. Reach your left arm forward. Bicep by, by the ear. Draw the right hip back. Exhale, the left hand comes down inside. On top of outside, right foot. Go for a block if you want. Then turn your chest to the right. Maybe free your right arm up to the sky. Revolve triangle pose. Use that back foot. Anchor it down. Maybe take the top hand to your sacrum. What can you level out a bit? Let that left hip lift a bit, right hip drop, continue to draw the right hip back. And then on the exhale, take your right hand down, bow over the leg. As you rebend your right knee, step the left foot back in a low lunge. Now turn all the way over your back leg, your back in a lunge. Plant the palms down, inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the left knee to your nose, figure four, left ankle, right thigh. Now walk your hands back until you're in a figure four, four, fold. Maybe you want to stay here or bend your right knee, drop your booty back, card forward. Coming into figure four chair from the ground up, hands to the heart. You can take the forearms to your shin, maybe stay here. Maybe twist to your right and take the left elbow to the sole of the left foot as you work your hands slowly towards the heart. You can also expand your wings, or maybe take your hands down to your right, pop on the ball of the right foot. Take the sole of the left foot high on the left tricep. Look forward, hands underneath the shoulders. I'm gonna lift up so my thigh comes on my triceps. Then look to the left, maybe kick your right foot forward for your dragonfly here, and then take that back into that figure four toe stand. As you then send the hips up, figure four, forward, fold. Unhook, halfway lift. Let's walk it forward. And then go to your plank from to plank to chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. And then briefly, let's lower down to your shins or take child's pose before we look at the second side. Sip of water, towel off. Now I call that, I don't like the word advanced. Uh, yogi playtime, party poses, uh, and, and don't underestimate the power of the kramas, the progressions. For a long time I was in that twisted chair, twisted figure four chair, before I even attempted to take my hands down. Get comfortable on each krama, each progression, and then take it down a bit. And if, you know, it doesn't go as you had hoped, there's always tomorrow. Journey of a lifetime, many lifetimes. All right, sit on your shins, interlace your hands behind you, please. Come up to stand on your shins. Step the left foot forward, nice and lightly. Go for a bit of a pause, front to back. So you're probably facing away from me if you need to move the screen towards the back of the mat, or just trust your body as you listen to my voice. If you're in a very deep lunge, let's uh, draw back a bit, tuck your right toes. Then drive to the right heel, the knee floats, stay in that deep lunge here, bind stays behind. Exhale, warrior three over your left leg. Keep that bind behind. Stay long as you did in all those other warrior threes. Look forward and up, draw your right knee with you as you come up to stand. Figure four, right ankle, left thigh, send your seat back, hard forward. Pull the fist behind for counterbalance, maybe stay here. Maybe belly to the shin, perhaps to turn your gaze all the way down to bring that fist completely over your head. 
Then carefully let the hands come down if you want to attempt to fly pigeon, Ekapada Galavasana. Walk your hands forward until the arms are straight, plant the palms down. You can also take this on blocks. Don't look down, look forward. Come to the ball of the left foot. Place your right shin to both triceps. Hook your right foot around the left tricep. Look forward. Maybe let the left foot float. Continue to push, breathe. Maybe extend that left leg back. And then take it back. To your figure four chair. Hands reach behind. Inhale, pull yourself up. Wolf, unhook the right ankle, giant step back, warrior one, feet. Again, I have to adjust here a bit. Please find the outer blade of your right foot, drive it down, knit the ribs in. Inhale, pull the chest open, and then exhale, go for your humble warrior. Allow the head to drop. Check out your beautiful back foot. Try to roll the left hip underneath you. So you're not swinging it out and therefore not cheating yourself out of this hip opener. And then on the inhale, let's come back up, warrior one, keep the bind. Exhale, lengthen to the left leg, turn the toes to the right. Feel free to adjust your feet. Inhale, pull your chest open. Exhale, flat back. Get a little longer and then find your prasarita parottanasana C. Maybe bring those palms to touch. Shift the weight forward into the front of your feet. And then let the hands come down. You can grab your ankles, maybe yogi toe lock. You can always walk the hands in between your legs away from your face. Tending the fingers or palms down, maybe take that into your shirshasana C if you want to. Again, maybe just relax in your wide forward fold. And then if you're up, we're gonna stay up, but please take the legs apart, kick through the heels, and let's slowly lower down. Then find a halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, turn over your left leg, you're in a low lunge, back on the mat. Step your right foot, 12 inches, a foot forward, take it a bit to the right. It's about three feet between your feet. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, Parjvottanasana, pyramid pose. Draw the hands to your hips, find that flat back, strong back body. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, bicep by the ear. Exhale, the hand comes down inside on top of outside left foot. Go for a block if you want. Tree hold chest open to the left. Inhale, left arm up. Maybe take this hand to the sacrum, see what you can level out. And then re-extend the top arm up. Such a tricky pose, so good for us. Exhale, the left hand comes back down. Rebend the left knee so you can step your right foot back. Turn all the way over your right leg, low lunge, front of the mat. Hands come down, inhale, right dog split. Exhale, right knee to the nose, figure four, right ankle over the left thigh. Walk your hands back. Take it forward, forward, fold. Beautiful. Perhaps you can pulse. It's a lot on the Achilles, the calf. Or bend the left knee, send your booty back hard, forward, hands to the heart, figure four chair from the ground up. Maybe forearms to the shin, tricky stuff. Or slowly twist to your left so you can take uh, the right elbow to the sole of the right foot and then carefully work your hands towards the heart. You can expand your wings if you want to, and maybe take the left hand down and pop onto the ball of your left foot. Again, make sure your right foot is high up on the right tricep. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Look forward, I'm gonna lift onto my triceps, and then perhaps kick your left foot through for your dragonfly. Step into that right tricep. And then let's take it back. Through that figure four toe stand into your figure four, four, folds. Let's uncross, four folds. A halfway lift on the inhale. Let's walk it forward into your plank. Lower down through your vinyasa. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Nice 
long inhale through the nose. Side out. Let's then carefully come down to hands and knees. You can swivel your legs out to one side, have a seat. As we already did pigeon pose, let's take the soles of your feet together. Let me come face you for Baddha Konasana. So, soles of the feet together, knees wide. The heels don't have to be all the way in your groin. You can take them a little further apart. Do find a way to sit right on top of your sit bones, that superhero on the heart. On the inhale, get a little longer. You can hold onto your feet, your ankles. And exhale, keep shining your heart forward as you come a little bit down. Inhale, get even longer. And then exhale, go a little bit further down. So just kind of wave yourself down like this. Each inhale, picking you up a bit, getting more length. And exhale, going down a little bit further. And then start to work your way down like this into the forward fold. I personally like to continue with that wave. And when I really feel like, okay, this is my edge, and it's nice just to completely round down from upper thoracic into cervical spine. And then take your time being in this shape. Maybe you can always allow for a block or a blanket underneath your chest. You can hold on to the feet, maybe hold on to nothing, make it more of a, I would say, active stretch. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Awesome. Take your time to come back up, no rush. Bringing your legs back together. Now we did quite a bit of flexion today. I'd like to give you an opportunity to extend through the front body. So let's come onto your shins. Um, might not be your, so to say, deepest camel pose, but I just like you to lengthen through the front body. Personal preference, whether you want to tuck the toes or not, I like the tops of the feet down. Lots of variations. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take the hands to the low back, fingertips up or down. Simply drawing the elbows back is enough. You can also then start to turn your sternum up towards the ceiling and really allow this to come from the back of your heart. You can continue to look forward. If you do decide to let your head drop, completely let it drop. Completely commit to it. Keep lengthening through the upper thoracic. If you want to, you can take your hands to your heels, your ankles, or blocks. Keep going with your breath. Take it once. Take it twice. And then let's use our inhale to come back up. Hands back to the low back. Then let's have a seat on the heels, maybe between the heels if you enjoy a Virasana, sitting between your heels, but there can be quite a lot on the knee joints, otherwise just sit up on the heels. Take a beat to let the blood go a little bit back into the head. And then let's again fish till the legs out to the side. Come to lie on your back. Take a bit of a windshield wiper, side to side with the legs. And then allow yourself to take whatever you feel like you want to take to complete your practice. That might be a happy baby. Perhaps you enjoy a plow or a shoulder stand. Maybe you want to take a deeper back bend. Personal favorite of mine is Sukta Bhattakonasana. Soles up the feet together, knees wide, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Allowing the eyes to close. Please finish whatever it is that you are working on. No rush. You can take your Shavasana in Sukta Bhattakonasana or lengthen out through the legs and move in and towards your Shavasana. Palms facing up or palms facing down, I highly recommend closing the eyes. I'm just going to change my music and then I'll come to join you. In your Shavasana, please allow for this feeling of 
ease, not just in your breath. Let the whole back of your body This is where it all comes together, right? We move through the body, not just for the sake of movement. Keep reminding myself, yoga is not a pose or a series of poses. Yoga is a state of being. So through the asanas, through the shapes, the postures, we bring about ease, and space, flexibility, strength, mobility, endurance even, into our bodies, but mainly into our minds. We're very lucky, not just ease and space, strength and flexibility in the mind, but dare I say, peace, tranquility, Allow body and mind to communicate here as you absorb your practice into every cell and fiber of your being. Maybe giving gratitude to your body for showing up the way that it does for you every single day. No questions asked. Now, if you'd like to stay here a little longer, Please stay here a little longer. Otherwise, just start to move your awareness back to your belly, noticing your breath rising and falling. And with the next inhale that comes around, just take a deep inhale through the nose. And sigh out. Just a little movement into your fingertips, your toes. Any stretches that you feel like taking. And then draw one knee at a time into your chest. And as you roll onto your right side, releasing your knees, maybe take a beat in that fetal position. As you then allow yourself to come up and have a seat. You can keep your eyes closed or soft gaze. As you take your hands to your heart center, Fingertips touching, palms apart. And maybe gently bow your head to your own inner teacher. 